boy you what's going on it's your girl cute queen here back with another video november i guess is a little bit about with this particular brand it's a little bit about going into the vault just slightly just slightly uh this one right here is a retro okay and um it's actually been some time it's been some time some quite a few years a little over a decade so that's a good track record for this brand, okay? Let's just get into it. You see the box, Air Jordan 9 Retro. So, gonna just peel that down. And here you go. The Air Jordan 9 Olive. So, it's been, if I do recall correctly, the last time it retro was 2012. So. To my earlier point, by comparison to some of this other stuff that tends to get retro, reimagined, um, remastered, not as many years <laughs> pass by before we get that. So for those nine heads out there, y'all are definitely excited about this shoe. So I think that time that has passed is going to create even more excitement for even those who either have the shoe those who never had the shoe, or those who just were always kind of curious about grabbing a pair. And when you think about us being in fall and in the winter, some of y'all have some mild winters. I'll just, I'll just say winter. Some of y'all have some mild winters, right? So this will still give you that fall winter look um, without having to wear boots, okay? I personally prefer boots, but if I had mild winters, you know, you know what it is. So it's perfect, perfect color blocking. With the nines, nothing too crazy changes as it relates to how the color blocking works. Um, just more so a change in color more than anything, okay? Black upper here with the normal design that is in the upper on the lateral and medial side. I will say, if y'all can see how I'm pushing that black leather, it has some give to it. It's a little cushy. It's a little cushy, so it does not feel super synthetic for those quality control heads out there. You might be fairly pleased. Medial side, same black, um, and same sort of give, yeah. So along the upper with the black leather, it has sort of that soft, we'll call it soft leather, okay? That iconic trim around the entire shoe, right? In this case, is olive, all right? Going across the toe going um lining up toward the sock liner the heel all the things not only is it olive but the 23 is olive and then you got your your, your token um sort of red globe jordan on the on the heel as well so definitely always love this touch when it comes to the nines that's just me okay black heel tab here sort of a strap texture okay so it's not leather or anything premium per se. All right, the tongue is the normal, uh, like a breathable mesh, as nines typically have. Going into the tongue, Air Jordan in red, black foundation. Um, nothing crazy with the laces, just normal black laces. The insole is an all black foundation with a red Nike Air logo, so that's good. I always love the sock liner of nines. It just makes it feel snug, you feel secure in there. And for them to design that at a time where even high top sneakers, um, particularly of athletes, perform performance sneakers, this was performance back then. So <laughs> the fact that they had that sock liner designed like that at that time um, says a lot about the progressiveness of the designer, okay? And the folks that were behind the design when it comes to the silhouette. Um, I wanna say the eights. The eights have that same type of sock liner too, so that was just kind of the bag they were in at the time, which I think is a good touch, okay? So as y'all can see, that's all black anyway. You get to the outsole, the standard all black with the giant, the giant red jump man. But yeah, it pretty much has a lot of like global interpretations on the bottom per the normal nine. Nothing, nothing's different from the typical nine that you would see okay all right y'all air jordan nine olive dropping on november 16th for 210 dollars okay 
So, you know, this will be mid-November. At this point, you'll have a good idea of what you can swing for November. You know, we're prepping for the holidays, the shopping, all of the things. It's a very costly time of year, all right? So plan ahead, plan accordingly. Again, November 16th, $210, Air Jordan 9. Alice, okay? So I'm more of a boots girl, so these are not for me, but definitely will get the job done for your fall and winter fashions, okay? <laughs> It'll do the job for sure. It'll definitely take the place of a boot for those that aren't, for those where boots are not necessary, and then for those who just say hey, they want to wear a sneaker instead of a boot. I mean, you do you. All right. <laughs> okay. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all going to do. And until next time, royalty. <laughs>